to another video from Creativo Solutions. You're currently busy watching the British International Distance College Accounting Module. We do offer private tutoring. More information can be found on the website. Please consider following us on Instagram and Twitter and keep watching the YouTube channel for more support. Just to start off, we have a third party disclaimer here. I'm just going to highlight the most important point here, which is the IGCSE Accounting Assignment Pack. One of the rules states that all resources may be used when answering assignments, including textbooks, the internet tutors, etc. Creativo Solutions is a private institution and is no way connected to the British International Distance College. Any reference made to the subject material refer to official BIDC material and we do not represent them as our own. We simply work through BIDC material with students as a means of additional academic support. We are currently busy going through assignment 2. We will now be looking at question 2. Let's begin. I'm going to be continuing where we left off in the previous video. I'm going to be focusing on question 2 of assignment 2 and that's on page 35 of your assignment pack. Question 2 states, Agritech sells farming equipment and supplies on credit. A new customer, Chalk Farm, has recently been supplied with goods showing on the invoice as follows. And then they've given you the Agritech invoice with details regarding the invoice number, the date, um, the address, the description, quantity, price, and they've given you total with some blank columns there. Then there's um, a total goods line item, a 20% trade discount, and the invoice total. And there are terms here that with that state, 3% for settlement within one month. So we're interpreting the source document here. That's the focus in question two. Question two has given you a example source document, which is the invoice, and we know Agritech is the one selling goods on credit. So this would be a credit invoice, which would represent a credit sale for Agritech. Agritech is the one that's going to be accounting for this information in their books. Question 2a states calculate the missing amounts at 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the invoice. Okay, so you're going to have to refer to the actual invoice and you're going to have to identify the working that you're going to have to do in order to get the correct amounts. There There are four missing figures, so let's highlight the first one. Number one. Number one is for sacks of Grow Quick Fertilizer, quantity 50, price 20 Rand per stack. And the quantity was 50 stacks of Grow Quick Fertilizer. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use multiplication. I have 50 stacks. Um, stacks, sacks, 50 sacks of fertilizer at, at $20 per stack. So to calculate the total, I'm going to say 50 times 20 gives me 1000 dollars. So the answer for number 1 would be 1000 dollars. Then we need to look at the next item which is the tractor tires. Um they've bought tractor tires for quantity, okay, at a price of 1 25 so if I multiply 4 by 125 I get 500 which is given in the actual invoice so that's fine then we need to work out the total goods so option 2 is obviously for question 2 is obviously for the total goods so the total here would be 
the fertilizer plus the tires. So in this instance, you would have the $1,000 plus how much were the tires worth? 4 times 125, which is 500, gives you a total of 1,500. Question 3 or part 3, we're looking at the 20% trade discount. So you've been given a 20% discount, trade discount, on the total of 1500. So 20% of this is $300. I'm just taking 20% of that amount. So just to show the working here, 20% of 1500 is $300. And that'll be the discount. Then part four of this question is wanting you to calculate the invoice total, which is the net goods. So we know what the total was, that was the total. We know what the discount was, that was the discount. So the net, the invoiced amount is 1,500 less 300, which is 1,200. So 1,200 is the invoiced amount that is applicable in this particular source document. And that's question 2A. Question 2B now. They say, when the goods were delivered, one tractor tire was found to be faulty. Agritech could not replace the tire and issued a credit note to Chalk Farm on 17 April. 2016. Calculate net amount shown. Um, there's a missing word here. Should be calculate the net amount shown on the credit note issued by Agritech to Chalk Farm. Show your workings. So let's go back and look at the information. How much does one tire cost? If I look at the actual invoice, I can see that tractor tires are costing one to five hundred and twenty five dollars per tire. So if I'm looking at each tire as being one hundred and twenty five, there was a trade discount that was applicable, which was twenty percent, twenty percent discounts. So one two five times twenty percent is twenty five Rand. That would be the discount that was applicable to one tire. So the net cost for one tire would be 100. How do I get 100? It's the 125 less the 25 gives the 100 would be the net cost. So if I'm looking at the actual purchase, they say calculate the net amount shown in the credit note. Well, obviously the net amount would be the difference, which would be $100. So $100 would be the amount that would be shown on the actual credit note because only one tracked tire was faulty and it could not be replaced so there was a credit note that was issued. The credit note would be issued at the net amount because it was invoiced at the net amount as well. So there will be a credit note indicating 100 which is the amount shown on the credit note. Brilliant. Okay, so that's question 2B. Question 2C says, Chalk Farm paid the amount due to Agritech from these transactions by check on 24 April, deducting cash discount of 3%, write up the ledger account 
of grow ag um, ag agrotech okay they said agro should be agritech um, there's a slight error here with the the wording okay agritech in chalk farms books for the above information so that's what I'm going to be focusing on I'm going to be looking at the ledger account for agritech so what does the ledger account look like it's a tier account so I'm going to be drawing up a debit and a credit side This is for Agritech. The books of Agritech. Um, Chalk Farm paid the amount due to Agritech from the books. Uh, write up the ledger account of Ag uh, of Agritech in Chalk Farms' books from the above information. So be careful what this actually says. Okay, this says, remember, let me just draw a quick picture up here for you guys. Agritech. sells to chalk farms that's what we've got so we we know that from the beginning they said agritech sells farming equipment and supplies on credit a new customer chalk farm has been uh, has recently been supplied with goods shown on the invoices followed okay which we spoke about we found those missing figures there were four then they said when the goods were delivered one tractor tower was faulty so there was a return that was the return so there were a few transactions that took place here namely the sale and the return then c is very specific c said chalk farm paid the amount due to agritech from these transactions by check on the 24th of april so that means chalk actually paid agritech deducting a cash discount of three percent then they say write up the ledger account of agritech in chalk farms's books so we need to write chalk farms books so in chalk farms's books now we're changing our focus because now we're not looking at things from Agritech's point of view, we're looking at things from Chalk Farm's point of view. So if I'm looking at Chalk Farm, Agritech is selling to Chalk Farm, so Chalk Farm or Farms is buying from Agritech. So if I'm focusing on things from Chalk Farms' point of view, Chalk Farms is buying from Agritech. Agritech would be seen as a creditor or a, a, a account that's payable. So creditor slash trade payables. That's what we're focusing on here because they're the one buying. They said, write up the ledger account in um, of Agritech, so Agritech Agri is there, that's fine, in Chalk Farms' book for the above information, perfect. Right, so if I'm looking at things from Chalk Farms' point of view, Agri is selling to, Ag um, Agri is selling to Chalk, so from Chalk's point of view, they're buying. So if they're buying, Agritech would be seen as liability, so there would be a purchase that would increase the liability, and that would have taken place on the 6th of April. So 6 April, there was a purchase, and this was for what? Um, fertilizer and tractor tires. What business are they running? It's a farm. So the fertilizer would be seen as part of their business consumables. They'll be using the fertilizer for the farmland, but the tractor tires would be something that will be used for the tractor, which would be seen more as repairs because we're going to be using the tires for the actual tractor. So two different accounts here. The one I'm going to just call fertilizer. Fertilizer. Okay, it's a consumable. It's an expense. And I'll have the same thing here, but for the tires. Also, vehicle expense, some sort of expense. We could highlight that over there. 
So that would be the two accounts. Where would this have gone? Well, this was a purchase. So it would have gone to the purchases journal or the general journal, either or. Purchases journal if you have a Sandry account or general journal if this is unusual. Same thing here, purchases journal slash general journal, depending on what journal or book the business is using to record this in. So we need to record. Let's record um, the fertilizer. So 20 sacks of fertilizer at 50, which was a thousand. There's a 20% discount here. So the fertilizer would be a thousand minus 20% of 1000, which is 800. And the tires, the total for the tires was 1000. Uh, no, not 1000. 1000 was the fertilizer. Uh, tractor tires, how many? Four. Okay, four tires at 125. Okay, so it'll be equal to 500 minus 20%. of 500 which is 400 so if I total those two amounts I should get the net amount which is 1200 which is correct that's the amount that they have purchased because we're looking at things from chalk farms's point of view then there is a check that is made out so the check would have credited the bank and would debit the liability and this was done when? On the 17th? No, 24th. 24th of April. Bank Cash Payments Journal. And this was after deducting a cash discount of 3%. So how much do they owe? 1,200. Okay, less... 1,200 times 3% gives you that amount. And then we'll have a discount allowed. Um, this would be, let's think about this, discount received. Why discount received? Because you're paying cash payments journal 24th of April if you pay your creditor, you'll receive a discount, which is what hap which is what happened here. Discount of three percent. So the discount is a thousand two hundred times three percent, which is thirty six. So that's the actual T account for Chalk Farms's books. Do we need to balance this account? Of course, you have amounts on both sides of the account. There is no opening balance here, so there would have been no opening balance, and then we would have just totaled up. And looked for the bigger side so which side is bigger here um, the bigger side well it's actually equal there is no balance this plus that gives me a thousand two hundred and this plus that gives me a thousand two hundred so the balance is actually zero we don't have to show balance brought down or balance carried down because there is no balance here and that's the end of question number two